Now, 35 C of the Constitution enjoins the state um, to take measures to provide adequate facilities for and encourage free mobility of people, goods, and services throughout the country. Unquote. Prioritizing urban mobility and accessibility in Greater Accra is therefore very vital. Indeed, our city, and I mean the Greater Accra, is a hard bit. You understand? A hard bit. And it stands at a pivotal junction. Now, as we continue to grow and evolve, the challenges of urban mobility and accessibility, uh, it demands our immediate and focused attention. Urban mobility affects every aspect of our lives, from commuting to work, accessing essential services, fostering economic activities, among others. And we face significant challenges, especially in the Accra. Traffic congestion, inadequate uh, public transportation, limited accessibility for many of our residents, among others. These issues not only hinder our productivity, but also impact adversely on the environment and our well-being and the quality of life. We do not want to behave like infants, honestly. We cannot and we should not behave like infants who are interested in here and now and the self. We ought to pay attention to the fact that our development should not and it should not constrain the ability of future generations to develop. And that is sustainability. So we are developing today, but we should not constrain the ability of future generations to develop sustainable. And this is the reason prioritizing sustainable urban mobility and accessibility for me is an imperative. But I wanted to say that prioritizing, prioritizing urban mobility and accessibility is a priority, right? Without the risk, I mean, I wanted, even though there's a risk of sounding tautologous, but I wanted to emphasize the, the preeminence of this particular adventure, this venture. A couple of weeks back, we met on the same platform to deliberate on the Ghana Urban uh, Forum. And it's to give life and impetus to the Ghana Urban Policy or the National Urban Policy. Uh, as we speak, there is a memo before cabinet to try and renew that document. Now, these stakeholder engagements are geared towards enhancing that activity making sure that Accra is accessible and, and mobile. You can move within Accra with ease. The traffic congestion situation in Accra uh, permeates everywhere and comes from a number of factors. Either people are not planning the city well, either vehicle users are not conforming to road regulations in usage, either people are citing structures where it should not be, and so on and so forth. Not to mention the, the attendant uh, filth or sanitation situation. So this forum is to give us an opportunity to discuss how urban mobility and accessibility can be improved, especially in the greater Accra area, so that life is more comfortable and less stressful. Uh, we can go about our duties uh, the way that we should, it should be.